Howdy arty aliens and welcome, I am Paul Yaceman, I draw stuff. In today's video I am redrawing a 2011 creation of mine called Octodude and I am drawing this in an anime inspired style as part of my hashtag manga challenge month. For the look of the drawing including the colours I am basing it a little on a screenshot of a character from Death Note. The time lapse you see here shows me drawing first in blue pencil, then applying line art, and finally finishing off the creation in Photoshop. Overall, this took me about 90 minutes with the bulk of that in Photoshop. I'll really speed up the digital time lapse section of this video. Here are the references I'm using. The screenshot has a similar pose to how I drew the Octo Dude, so will inform this drawing well. I began today's work with the intention of removing my blue pencil in Photoshop. I'd read about this and seen it done a few times and I was excited to have a bash at it myself. This turned out to be really simple. As I will, or is that wood, I should really stick to one tenth when I do these voiceovers. Anyway, as I will be removing the blue pencil digitally, I am not too pedantic about getting my lines perfect. They will act as guides for when I add the fine liner and I can erase any fine line overlaps uh, digitally as well. I was thinking about using my 0.1 uni pin to ink this but defaulted to my go to 0.8. Using a thicker one might have been better as the lines are a bit wonky in spots like around the eyes and the bottom of the lower lip. And that's due to thickening up lines with the fine liner. So using a thicker pen would probably have fixed things up a little bit better. Due to the final digital nature of this piece, I didn't worry about overlapping hairlines as I would be slash will be erasing them later. I was not entirely sure how to mix the tentacles and hair and in the end I placed the head on top of the tentacles and the hair is pretty much bog standard hair. After finishing the line art and scanning my drawing into Photoshop, I adjusted the levels a little to whiten up the whites and I then used the black and white colour adjustment to fade out the signs which effectively removed the blue pencil. For the colouring I added a few multiply layers and a lighten layer and the final step was to remove the line art from the background and paste this as the upper layer. There's not much more to say about this so I'll let the time lapse run without commentary. If you get something out of this consider giving me a like. To jog your memory, here's my references for this work, which I found to be useful, which they should be because they are references. Here is the blue pencil scanned in. Here is when the line art has been added. Here is the final piece. So, what do you think? Can you do better? Show me. If you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, or you got ideas for your own sketchbook, or were inspired to draw, etc., subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, take care, and happy drawing.